Yesterday I had a question on one of my exam videos to do with parametric integration. It's actually a fairly common question, so I thought I'd go through it in a video. So let me first draw some random parametric uh, curve. Uh, I don't know what the equations for this would be, but you know it's going to be just some random parametric curve. So starting at zero zero, we're going to go around, draw like a butterfly shape. Okay, that's terrible, but yeah, that would be some some parametric and the question was when we're integrating let's say this was one and this was uh, well that's zero when we're integrating from zero to one why do we only get for example the area above the x-axis or below the x-axis why are we not finding that entire area there um, and to answer this let me draw a, a function some random cubic function okay so something like this that's just some random cubic again i don't know what the function would be um, but think about what happens if for example we integrated from zero to let's say this was i don't know three from zero to three when we integrate for this cubic we find this area and we find this area here so what when we integrate a function, we are finding the area above and below the x-axis. Why is that not happening with the parametric curve? Well, this is to do with the fact this is a function. So the feature of a function is that for every input, we only get one output. Um, and when we're integrating from 0 to 3, we have only one section of the curve we have to worry about. Right? We are, in fact, finding the the total area below that curve in that section. Um, we are obviously not finding the area under the curve in any other part of the graph. Like we're not finding the area from 3 to 5, for example. We are not finding that area. We're only integrating from 0 to 3. Okay, maybe saying this is very obvious. Why are you telling me this? Um, well, that kind of answers the question in a way. This part of the curve is not included in this interval, 0 to 3. Now going to the parametric example, if we integrate from 0 to 1, there's only one part of the curve you can include in that integration. You can either include the, the part of the curve above the x-axis or below the x-axis. Okay, that's a bad color. Let me get something a bit brighter orange should do okay so you're either you're either finding the area above the curve or below the curve just in the same way as when you integrate a regular uh, function you're not including the area under any other part of the curve similarly with the parametric curve if you integrate from 0 to 1 you're either you, you're only doing part of that curve um, so I guess I should talk about the idea of the uh, the direction of the curve. So when you draw a parametric curve, uh, it either goes clockwise or anti-clockwise. Let's say this example is going clockwise. So we start at 0, 0, and we draw it clockwise um, around this cycle. Um, so when we go from 0 to 1, we draw this part of the curve, and then we go from 1 to 0, we're drawing this part of the curve. So even though in that interval, we think that, okay, there's, you know, all of that part of the curve is included in that interval. Really, when we're going from 0 to 1, we're actually drawing out this part of the curve above the x-axis. Going back from 1 to 0, then we draw out the rest of the curve below the x-axis. And in this example, if you integrate from 0 to 1, you would get a positive area. And if you integrated from 1 to 0, you would get the area under the x-axis, so you get a negative area. that have the same size if it's symmetric about the x-axis, but this would be a negative result from 1 to 0 in this example. So yeah, that was my attempt at an intuitive explanation of this question. Uh, basically, you're, it's like a feature or a bug of integration. You're only ever integrating part of the curve, and in a parametric curve, uh, Looking at a particular interval, yes, even though there is part of the curve above and below the x-axis, 
uh, you're still only ever integrating part of that curve. Uh, you're not including the interval from 1 to 0. I hope that made sense. If not, let me know in the comments and I'll try to think of a better explanation. Thanks for watching.